Good day YouTube, I hope you're all well. In today's video we will be going through a tier list system to see who is the best team to manage in the French leagues. I will then do a ranking system based on my own personal preference. There will also be a team included that it might not be the normal thinking team to go to and this could be an interesting save for you to do. So keep watching so that you don't miss it if you want to see more of this amazing content around Football Manager and then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss a thing, click on the bell to be notified. Right, let's get FM. So who to manage in the French leagues? Behind me, we have four sections, rich, support, reputation, and youth. And then I'm gonna rank a few teams by four, three, two, and obviously the best one. Uh, I chose French one because obviously I went to France over for Easter weekend, went to Troyes' football stadium. Didn't even realize I had a football team. Let's have a look. Let's see if Troyes actually gets into this mix in the top teams to manage in France. We'll start off from Rich and kind of work our way through support, reputation, youth. Yeah, and see where it takes us. Just like we did in the English leagues. So Paris Saint-Germain, nothing new, obviously. If you don't know how much they've got, they do have 231 million in their accounts with a budget of 39 million. Now, obviously, they don't have that much money to spend per player as such at the moment but they've just obviously brought Messi their wage bill is huge thing is they've got players with value behind them so you can offload them I think they've got quite a big squad as well but they also have the best reputation obviously they're they got the top players in Champions League they win for league nearly every year uh, yes they have the best reputation 8,600 out of I think it's 10,000 or 9999 depends how it's done and then you go on to their youth, where they have not for best youth coaches, surprisingly, but they have for best youth facilities. Obviously, Manny can buy you things like that. Um, actually, I've just read they have joint best youth facilities. And we'll come to the next one in a second. So that's Paris Saint-Germain. So they're rich, good for reputation, and they've got good youth. Then Leon. Leon surprised me. I've been for the next one. So they have a balance of 76 million and a budget of 17 million. So nothing amazing. And then we continue with Leon with their support. Not for best in support, but they do have a max potential of 48,650. Reputation for second best, just below Paris Saint-Germain on 7,800. So nearly a thousand difference there between the two teams. And then they have, this is where the joint comes in. They have the joint best youth facilities with Paris Saint-Germain in the French leagues. So as you can see, Lyon is pretty much an all-rounder, right? They're, they've got money, they've got the support behind them, they've got the reputation, and they've got youth. And then we move on again, another club with a little bit of money is Monaco. They've got a balance of 117 million, so more than Lyon, but they do have a smaller budget of 13 million. There is money to play there, and that's it from Monaco, really. They've just got a bit of money. I'm pretty sure that they'll probably be in the top five of probably support, reputation and youth, but they just don't fall into the top three for us. And then we have support Marseille, are the best potential supported team in France of 60,400. So if we look at Lyon, that's 48,650. So that's a big difference. Not like in our English leagues that uh, Manchester United have 120,000 max potential support but man united are a worldwide club and marseille come in third with 7500 on reputation so i i feel like you look at marseille's history and you just want to I don't know, take over them and compete against paris Saint Germain, leon and monaco with money and build up their reputation develop their youth they've got the support they've got this potential about them and then support, we finish off with the top teams uh, in Ligue 1 with Saint-Etienne. Saint 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 you do have to pardon my pronunciations if I get anything wrong. So, yeah, so Saint-Etienne, max potential support, 47,700. That actually surprised me. I didn't think they had such a big support, but it seems like that they do. And then to finish off our Ligue 1 teams, we have Stad René. Rene, Rennes, um, coming in with the best youth coaches going into third place for youth. 
Now, outside of League Un, they all do fit into League De. Um, I presume that's how you say it, right? Because League One, League Un, Un De. So League De should be League De. Richest club in League Two, League De, is Oxier. Oxier? And I am trying Oxier with biggest balance of 12 million. And then you've got Toulouse uh, with biggest budget of 2 million. Uh, but also Toulouse have the best youth coaches outside of League 1. And then support wise, Chan, Chan, Khan, Chan, max potential support of 13,500. You just think like outside of Prem, was again, Chef Wednesday, something 40 odd thousand max potential. And then outside of League 1, 13,500. That's big. Maybe just French don't go to football as consistent as we do over here and then to finish off the support we have fx socio socio uh, with max potential support 13,100 and they also have the best youth facilities outside of league um, so let's finish this off with reputation we have dijon they have a reputation of 6,200 and joint in reputation outside of league and you have names and then, for, as we did in English leagues, oldest club in France that you can play in Ligue 2 is half, and they are 1872. 10 years, they was formed 10 years after Notts County, who are our English team. Don't forget, this is a personal preference. So, disagree with any of my choices? Leave me a comment. Right, so we are going to start off with... Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain, they, they have to be there, right? They have to be one of the teams. If you can mar- manage a team in the French leagues, Paris Saint-Germain should be one of the teams. Three reasons why. Messi, Mbappé, Neymar. That's it. What a strike force. What a forward line that is. And obviously you've got that challenge of... They're trying to buy, obviously, to win for Champions League. With all that money, that money power, they want to win one thing. That's the Champions League. Can you do it? If you have already done it, let me know in the comment section. All right, I'll try and get you to uh, give me some more comments, build a conversation. And third, we have probably a bit of a surprise, but again, all us FMers out there, we do love building teams with youth. Now, Stad Renez has a great youth academy. They've got good youth facilities, but they do have, as I said before in our last chart, the best youth coaches. If you want to try and win stuff with kids, you can't win things with kids. And then second place, we got obviously our League 2 teams. Getting them back to the top team uh, division and see what you can do. So you've got Azure and Toulouse. And then top spot. Who do I reckon would be a great team to manage in French leagues? I've gone for Marseille. Now, I just remember Marseille back in days of when I was younger, when I was a kid. Late 90s, early 2000s, they had some good players. They brought like Ravinelli, Laurent Blanc. In 98, they got um, Robert Perez, Florent Maurice, Christopher Duggery. Uh, they came second place that year. So you remember that Didier Drogba used to play for Marseille uh, in 2003, 2004, before he went to Chelsea. I mean, in the late 1980s, they ended up buying... Uh, Jean-Pierre Papin, Chris Waddle, Enzo Francescoli, uh, Abedi Palais, Deschamps, Desailly, Vola, Cantona, having high profile coaches. Yes, I'm reading this off uh, Wikipedia, but they had Franz Backenbar. The Triumph was the first ever for a French club and it made it Deschamps and Bates the youngest captain and goalkeeper uh, to capture for title. So they won for Champions League in 1993. Just shows like they've got they've got a lot of history. They've got great potential support, sixty thousand four hundred, and their reputation is good. Uh, I think they could be a really really fun save. And lastly, I have put in another joint first place, and a little bit of a surprise one. But again, I was on holiday there. This is this is they inspired me to do this list. So they go top. There you go. There's Aztec. Is it Aztec or is it just E S T A C? 
Aztec Troyers, just some facts about them that I found. They got a 21,000 capacity stadium. They were founded in 1986, they're younger than me. Not bad training facilities in youth, a little money in the bank with 2.9 million and 855k to spend. No debt, so, which is massive nowadays in football. No debts for a football club, no loans, nothing like that. So, whatever money you make is yours. It's good. And obviously last season, they actually won league. Duh. And like, if you look at last season of like some of the teams down there, it's a real big achievement. So they they feel like they're an upcoming team. They have been in league and before. Uh, they've been obviously flowing up and down since they've become a professional club. Yeah, just an interesting one. A bit of an outside, outside of the box uh, one to try. If you do try any of these, please leave me a message. Let me know how you got along with whether it's Marseille, Troyes, Azur, Toulouse, Stad Rennes. Is that Stad Rennes? Oh, I got that wrong. Yeah, Stad Rennes or PSG. Yeah, let me know. Comment section. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.